Hello viewers, well today we've seen a new trailer for the new Need for Speed, a reboot of the Need for Speed franchise. It's been a couple of years since we've seen the previous version. I know a lot of people have been looking forward to it and I think that the anticipation of this trailer today is testament to the fact that Need for Speed, whether you like it or not, is still a huge brand in the world of motorsport. Uh, we, let's, we'll take a look at some of the screenshots, but first let's take, just take a quicker look at some of the trailer. We're not allowed to show the whole trailer in its completion on the channel, but we can do a little bit of trailer analysis of what we see so far so let's just take a look so kicking off then we've got the truck in the sort of la sort of region now the information that came with this press release uh, refers to it being a nocturnal open world so nighttime racing at night around this city that looks very much like la some la style buildings there and as you look at this first few scenes i uh, I think what looks impressive about it, certainly in the graphics engine that they're using, is you can see a lot of detail in the road and the reflections and the lighting. A really nice, lush graphical look to it so far. Very exciting to see some new technology in a racing game that, that's really positive at the moment for everybody, and it, it looks nice. I, I see a road I want to drive down. Uh, so, so far, so good. Moving on in the trailer, and we see some cop action. You see some back alleyways and some cars racing, a bit of night racing there as well. All looking very stylish, very nice look to it. Sort of this blurry camera look as we see the Porsche there uh, doing some drifting around the corner in a race, it looks like. Stunning detail, it has to be said, you know, that you can see the Porsche there looking so detailed, really nice detail. And of course the police car action as well. You know, this is Need for Speed. You know, it's it's this is this is a, a entire reboot of the franchise. And I think when you look back at the franchise, you know, the, the, depending on how old you are, would depend on how you view Need for Speed. You know, for me, when I started playing it on the 3DO, it was a serious driving game. Road and Tracks pr presents, you know, experience what it is to be in a Ferrari. You know, and if you go too fast, the cops will chase you. Then on the console versions, it became more about cops and it got more and more crazy. There's been different versions and, and ideas and approaches to Need for Speed over the years. But one in recent times that many of us liked was Need for Speed Most Wanted in 2005. And, you know, the game wasn't, you know, it was rough around the edges, you know, like a lot of good games are there. You know, it wasn't super smooth it needed a bit more development to it but either way it was loads of fun i completed the game and learned that town like the back of my hand and where to get rid of all the cops and everything else it was lots of fun had a great feel to it and i like some of the sort of soundtracks for the cops and everything so you know and then need for speed rivals i just found myself sort of driving up and down the same coastline uh trying to get away from the cops constantly and it got a bit tiresome sometimes you just wanted to go for a drive but either way these environments look really nice and you can see some of the screenshots uh that were supplied officially as well really nice detail on the cars uh, nice texture and look to it you know we'll just have to see how the game turns out it's a very early stage what do we want we want the game to at least handle well have a have a play style it's not going to be a simulator get over that it's going to be an action arcade game but let's hope there's some depth to the the sort of handling and the physics uh, that you can when you play it you're racing you're drifting there's a bit of skill required and stuff like that so certainly for myself it's one we're going to be looking forward to and uh, you know covering a lot in the in the coming months where possible and if you know do uh, keep an eye on the website uh, and support us on patreon as well because that supports what we do here on the channel and some of the different coverage we get and you'll see the different exclusives we're always working hard and you know we really appreciate the support on the patreon so uh, need for speed at the moment i thought that was quite an exciting trailer from a technical perspective from a look from a body language look at the cars looks like it's got some great racing included in there uh, one we're going to keep an eye on but that's it from me for now as ever more soon